Are you concerned, you brought up America, okay? Are you concerned about America right now? Yes. T tell me more. <laughs> um, yes, I mean, like, like so, so many people, I mean, I love, I love our country and I love the freedom of mm -hmm. our country. And my hope is that we continue to be strong and get on track. I see so much division right now. In fact, one of the projects that we are working on is uh, I'm executive producing a documentary. It's called Anxious Nation. And when education is a huge part of my life and passion, I serve on boards of education for 25 years. Uh, and currently, my husband and I are two of the co-founders of uh, a startup school in our community at college prep, pre-K through high school, mentoring programs for over three decades. And I have never experienced a more difficult time to be a young person or mm. an old person, a person of any age. And uh, this film, Anxious Nation, it addresses our youth specifically and the anxiety that they are suffering through. And what we've come to recognize is so many people suffer alone and uh, this is a, a, a film by Laura Morton. She's a 21-time New York Times bestselling author. Vanessa Roth is an Academy Award-winning director. And, uh, and this is out now. Uh, you can go to anxiousnation.com to learn where you can watch it. But it, it really helps families recognize that they're not alone in this. And this doesn't have to be your identity. Yeah, is, is, this, is this due to uh, the anxiety, na or anxious nation, the anxiety epidemic? Is this due, do you think, to social media, labeling, all the ADH, uh, ADD, ADHD, all the, the supposed diseases that have exploded, um, w whether they're contrived or legitimate, I'm not sure, but w w what's causing this anxiety? The shutdown from the epidemic? You know, Grant, so many things that the film doesn't uh, target one particular issue. It addresses many uh -huh. uh, and recognizes that there are many factors that go into this. It chronicles uh, several different young people and their families, all with different situations. But when we look at the last few years and everything that you mentioned uh, from social media to the lockdown mm -hmm. to um, children, trying to read masked faces. Yes. It's been really hard, really, really hard on young people. And it's heartbreaking. And I'm so proud of these kids who are coming through this and they're coming through it strong. And, uh, but it's, it's difficult. How long have you been married? Uh, it'll be 35 years in August. Man, good for you. Wow. I think my wife and you know, I... I got we, a great guy. He's the keeper. Well, he must be. Well, you got to keep him at this point, you know. Like, <laughs> I've been married 20 years, and I just think my wife and I both think the family unit's so important to, to community, and as tough as marriage is at times, it's like, man, you know, having a teammate, somebody you can depend on, there's nothing better than that. Yeah, it's, it's great work, and anything worthwhile, it's going to be work, but... You work through the tough stuff, and you really get your priorities in order. Kathy, you've been phenomenal. Uh, I'd love to have Laura at some point. I didn't. I didn't know Laura was your uh, your producer on Anxious Nation. We're, we're, Laura, Laura wrote it. Um, and what you you were the executive producer. Yes. Which means what? What is an executive producer? I never I never understand these terms. My wife's an actress, and I'm like, what's the difference between an executive producer and a producer? You know, there the, there's so many different ways of that producing can be explained. In my instance, uh, when I uh, learned what, I've known Laura for years and years, and when I learned that she was working on this with Vanessa, I was a little skeptical because I didn't know how it was going to be presented. When I experienced the roughs, I was like, wow, I am getting, I get phone calls every week from kids, from their parents. It's, um, you know, my kid is suffering from anxiety, mm. uh, suicide attempt, drugs, I just all this hard stuff. And when I saw this, it's like, how can I help? What can I do to help? So, and you talk about marketing and sales, that's what executive producers do. It